I counted 22 clouds yesterday, but just 14 today. Maybe that's a sign that I should do my laundry. Still have that map we were given? Yes. And whoever drew it was quite competent. The map appears to be plotted with great detail. Good. Let's confirm that it's accurate. Say up! This area is exactly as the map says. It even provides supplemental information, including descriptions of the local flowers. That doesn't seem too useful. Perhaps the map's maker was a stickler for accuracy. Or perhaps they just wanted to kill time, and decided this was as good a way as any. Yes. Yeah. The new students will be joining soon. Our first new batch since you joined us, Vanessa. That's right. I Damn wonder it. what kind of kids we'll get this year. Here's hoping the set doesn't scare them all off. If they can't work with her, they never would have cut it anyway. Becoming a knight needs to be a challenge. <laughs> it's clear that you feel strongly about that. Very in character of you, Vanessa. This can't be! Fuck's <laughs> careless. Speaking of becoming a knight, now? why did you choose to take this path? I don't think you've ever told me before. My reason? I was raised by a knight, one who was strong and just. He taught me to live as he did. It's the only path I know. I see. You want to be like the person who raised you. In a sense, it's like you were born to be a knight. Hey, jump! Someone's already here. Hey, look! There's a whole bunch of funny look Kids from the village? Let's talk to them. Yeah. They'll know more about the area than we do. Might I ask what you two are doing? Huh? Whoa. You talking to us, soldier? Most of you guys are too busy being gloomy to talk. Is that so? Yeah. The other soldiers even ignore us when we tease them. Honestly, it's kind of weird. Hey, don't tell them that. Huh? Why not? Because, um... Never mind. Hmm. I see. Um, are you a soldier too, ma'am? Child, you don't need to concern yourself with me. <laughs> Sorry, she's just a little shy. L Lucian, I... I'm only telling her the truth. You... you may be right, but... But, um... Wow, your cheeks are so red. C quiet, you child. Now, now, that's enough. Listen, 
It might be for the best if the two of you went home. Huh? You can't boss us around. We're gonna stay right here and play. No, we can't permit that. Then again, for the time being, we can't let you leave our sides either. What? They're lurking this close to the village? It seems. The beasts certainly have grown bold. Don't be. You're safe. We will protect you. I promise. Come on! It's quite a crowd. Will you watch my back? Understood. I'm done. You are done. Jump! Now it begins, no regrets. Then it's time to end this. Let's have some tea when this is over. That sounds great. I always like the tea, sir. That takes care of that. Okay. The area's clear of hostels. Are you alright? Yeah. Thanks, ma'am. That was so scary! You're safe now. Are you ready to go back to the village? wanted to find some better rocks, but I'll head home for today. Dad'll yell at me if I'm too late anyway. Can you two make it back by yourselves? Huh? Of course we can. We're not stupid, you know. I'm sure they'll be fine. We've dealt with all the beasts they might run into. Right. Regardless, you should be careful. Right. Back to exploring the local area. Uh -huh. Yeah. You seem less interested in the task at hand than you are in those children we saved. I apologize. I'm just a bit concerned for them. But there's no need to apologize. No, I'm on duty. I can't afford to divide my attention. I'm failing as a member of Blaze. No. I'm failing as one who aspires to be a knight. Relax, I don't think it's quite that dire. But I understand what you mean. You know, that girl kind of resembled you. You think she resembled me? In what way? She's nowhere near my size, and our hair's different too. I didn't mean it like that. Come on. Wait, how did you mean it? Well... Actually, I think I'd better keep that a secret. What? Hey! Ha! How do you like this? Jump! Stop! I doubt we need to worry about those children. It's not that far to the village. True. And judging by how that boy carried himself, I'd wager that they can handle some adversity themselves. I'm sure he'll get that girl home safely. That boy... Did you notice something about him? Perhaps, but... I can't quite put my finger. <laughs> His demeanor made me feel... Nostalgic, I suppose? Please, get back! According to the map, there's a fork in the path ahead. Going right will take us uphill, and going left will take us down to the stream. Which way should we go? 
Let me think. I'd like to check the path on the right first. We'll have a better view from up in the hills. And I'd rather avoid walking by a cold stream. That's understood. Here's the fork. To the right, then. Let's climb to higher ground. The weather's nice. It's a- you No. Know, climbing a hill like this. It's almost like we're heading to a picnic spot, don't you think? I don't know. Honestly, I haven't gone on many places. Oh. Have you not? Then why don't I take you on one sometime? Sometime? When? I don't have a specific date in mind. Mm -hmm. but why don't we plan for one when the new cadets arrive? Oh, yes. A fine idea. Perhaps we could work in some field exercises while we're at it. Of course, we'll have to find a good training ground to use. I don't think we're discussing a picnic anymore. See a bridge ahead. Beyond it is Imperial territory. Yeah, Lucy. What is it? You seem different than usual. I do? Yes. Maybe I'm overthinking it. But you seem more stern than you still. Really? Is it because the Empire's so close? Well. You know, most people who join Blaze have some sort of bond with the Empire. I'm glad no one else saw but you, Vanessa. At the Academy, I feel like I have to conceal such feelings. I won't tell anyone. You've now seen a glimpse of my vice. I entrust it to you. Oh no, I wouldn't call that a... Never mind, I understand. We've climbed a fair distance. It's just as you said. You have quite a good view from here. Yes. We should be able to finish this scouting mission shortly. But don't let your guard down. I doubt we'd be in danger at this distance. But the edge is visible up ahead. The border we were told about. If we crossed that bridge we saw earlier, we'd be standing in the Empire. Understood. Vanessa, do you see that? The Gilblon capital of Highgarden. Home of Lazui, the Canis Lord. So it seems that Lazui's days may be numbered. They're making reactors at a rapid pace, using the primordial beast's body as material. It's a sin. Does the Empire not fear the primordials? Maybe they don't. Or maybe it's fear that drives them to do such things. At any rate, our views on primordials differ deeply. Lazui really could vanish before long. I'm shocked that they can bear to watch. Imperial culture is difficult to comprehend. Then again, I'm only a sword, not an academic. No, it's really hard to grasp. I felt the same way. Okay, we've seen everything we came to see. Good work. Now let's head back to base. No, Lucian. That's not an option right now. Why not? Do you want to be alone with me a little longer? Should we retreat? Normally, I'd say yes. But the only way we can run right now is off that cliff. I'm all for making unexpected moves, but that's a bit extreme. 
For now, let's stick with conventional tactics. Though, considering these numbers, there's nothing conventional about what's happening here. It's alright. I think we can handle this. Each member of Blaze is a one-man army. Human weapons, to put it bluntly. Yep. Accursed monsters. Yep. Your light could never defeat us. I'll finish this. There are a lot of them. Yes, but it's nothing we can't handle. Good thing those weren't Imperial troops. I think we can head back to base now.